they seem to have slammed the brakes on the sort of process of political reform that King Hamad had set in motion, of, you know, almost a decade ago. Uh, we've seen a pretty serious constriction in terms of space for civil society. We've seen closures of uh, newsletters and uh, websites. Um, we've seen uh, roundups of upwards of around 300 people over the last two months. Um, and allegations that they have been subjected to torture during interrogation. Um, the people who've been arrested and some 25, what I just characterize as prominent Shia activists, have been uh, are going to be put on trial starting next week on terrorism charges. And uh, a lot of what they seem to be charged with are things they've said or the political beliefs they hold rather than any criminal acts they've committed. So Bahrain has been on your radar, uh, irrespective of these elections that are coming up. Yeah, I mean, obviously the elections are an occasion, uh, and it's, uh, you know, unfortunately some of the uh, abuses I just uh, sort of summarized here do relate to the elections. For instance, the uh, the government essentially took over the independent Bahrain Human Rights Society in early September. This was the organization that was to be the lead civil society, play the lead civil society role in monitoring the elections, since they're not letting in any international observers. Uh, now it's uh, now now it's being run by an uh, an undersecretary from the Ministry of Social Development. This isn't good. And what about the government in Bahrain? Have you brought up your concerns to them? Oh, oh, of course, of course we have. Um, in particular, the uh, concerns about treatment of detainees. Uh, this is something uh, we've worked on for a while. We issued a report back in February which documented the use of torture uh, uh, during interrogations on a pretty routine basis over the 2007 to 2009 period. Uh, and that documentation is what makes us lend, you know, sort of makes us view these current allegations with uh, as having some credibility, unfortunately. Bahrain is a country with which the United States has uh, friendly relations. Uh, yes. Is the U.S. saying anything about your concerns? The U.S. officials tell us that they are raising these concerns at high levels with the Bahrainis, but the U.S. has said nothing uh, or, or virtually nothing uh, publicly, and we've called on them to do so. We, th we don't think this is a good thing, frankly. The U.S. needs to uh, make very clear that it, uh, you know, that it that it has grave concerns about what's going on uh, in 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 Bahrain today in terms of human rights violations in a in a whole variety of manner.